Welcome to Brainy Bites, and this episode lets unlock the secrets of kids' academic success. Have you ever puzzled over why some kids seem to have an uncanny ability to focus and study effectively while others struggle? Why do some children seem to effortlessly sail through their academic journey while others find it a turbulent sea? The answer lies not in the stars, but in psychology. Let us delve into these fascinating psychological theories that can unlock the doors to academic excellence. We turn our attention to the cognitive load theory. This theory, in all its simplicity, suggests that our brains can only handle a certain amount of information at a time. Just like a computer with limited RAM, our brains can crash if overloaded. For kids, this means understanding the importance of breaking down complex tasks into manageable chunks. It's like tackling a jigsaw puzzle, one piece at a time. Next, we explore the self-determination theory. This theory emphasizes the importance of intrinsic motivation, the desire to do something because it's genuinely interesting or fulfilling. Encouraging kids to discover their own passions and interests can fuel their motivation to learn and study transforming it from a chore into a joy. Just imagine a child who loves dinosaurs willingly reading and learning about paleontology because of that innate interest. Then we venture into the domain of the growth mindset theory. This theory, developed by psychologist Carol Dweck, suggests that abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work, smart strategies and input from others. For kids, it's about understanding that they're not stuck in their current abilities. They can grow and improve. It's like turning a rough stone into a polished gem. It takes time and effort, but the result is worth it. Next, we look at the dual coding theory. This theory proposes that we understand and remember things better when we learn them using both verbal and visual information. For kids, this could mean using diagrams, pictures, or even acting out stories to help cement the information in their minds. Just imagine it as giving a performance at a play. The script alone is not enough. They need the costumes, the props, and the stage setting. Following this, we delve into the multiple intelligences theory. This theory suggests that there are different types of intelligences that people possess. It encourages kids to understand their strengths and use them to their advantage. Up next, we talk about the zone of proximal development theory. This theory emphasizes the importance of learning with guidance or in collaboration with others. It encourages kids to seek help when needed and learn from others. Finally, we dive into the intriguing flow theory. This theory talks about getting completely immersed in an activity to the point of losing track of time. It encourages kids to find activities they love and get in the zone. To summarize, these theories are not just academic concepts. They're practical, real-world strategies that can empower kids to improve their study skills and concentration, thereby paving the way for their academic success. Remember, every child is unique and has the potential to achieve great things. It's about turning the task of studying from a daunting mountain into a navigable path. So, step into the world of these informative psychological theories Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing.